Hey, Royal family. Happy Friday. I was like, okay, now I need to come on so they can see for all of my new subscribers who Mrs. O is. What y'all up to? <laughs> hey, Royal family. How is everyone doing? Happy, happy Friday in... What do they call Friday? Uh, Palm Day? Uh, sorry, I, I, I can't remember. Um, you know, I, I love Easter. I love the celebration. You know, um, I like seeing the older mothers, you know, their big old hats and their, their suits on and, you know, their gloves on. I was raised up on that. But you guys, just remember the reason for the season. And I hear a lot of people say, I know God. Oh, I know God. Just make sure he knows you. With that being said, now I'm, I'm not trying to preach to you, you know, I'm just saying, you know, just make sure God knows you and you have a relationship with him. I can know a person but if I don't have a relationship with them, everything is on the surface. Nothing is deep or underneath. And that's how God needs to know us. All right. With that being said, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I want to thank my Ride or Die subscribers. Thank you, guys so much. All right. Today we're going to make it easy. You can either do this for Saturday morning breakfast, breakfast, Saturday morning breakfast, or Sunday morning before you go to church. So it's going to be easy. It's going to be simple. And I don't know if you guys remember, you used to could buy the cinnamon rolls that had the fruit filling in the middle, which was so delicious, they would have cherry, apple, I think I remember a peach. That's what we're going to do today. When I tell you, you're going to be like, wow, she put an easy one on us today. That's exactly what I'm about to do. All right, let's get in this kitchen and make something beautiful. Okay, Royal Family, here are our ingredients. I have a... 21 ounce cherry fruit filling uh, topping. So I just put it in the bowl here because um, it's going to be easier for me to scoop out. I have a 17.5 ounce of the Grand's cinnamon rolls made with Cinnabon cream cheese icing. And I also have a nine by 13 pan that I buttered the bottom, which I left over here on the other counter. All right, let me show you. Okay, this is the nine by 13. And you wanna butter the bottom of it. All right, so now let's get started. Let me show you how easy this recipe is. Okay, we're gonna Pop open this can and make sure you save the icing. Do not discard the icing. Okay, there we go. See that? So what we're going to do is take each cinnamon roll Excuse me, guys, if I start to cough it off. I got something dry in my throat. Okay. I hope you guys can see this. Well, you will once I, uh... Okay, you see the cinnamon roll here? Make sure it's wrapped tight. And we're just going to put it down. We want to have enough room to uh, 
spread these out. And since they're the big ones, that's the reason I'm using the 9x13. Because if I use the 8x8, I don't think they will get done. Okay. Let me go ahead and finish putting these in the uh, in the pan. I mean the the Pyrex. Then I'll come back and show you what we are about to do next. All right, you guys. I have them all in the nine by thirteen Pyrex. And I kind of had to play with them before I brought you back on because this is my first time doing this recipe. So I want you to see what I'm doing. I'm taking them and I'm just smashing them down and try to get them as thin as possible. Can you see that? And just keep smashing them. Make sure there are no holes open though because you want them to attach. And if I see a few holes, then I can pinch some of pinch. I can take some of this off and stick it here. Can you guys see that? And just keep smashing down. Let's go here. Especially the center, smash it down uh, really well. So you can just take your hands and spread them out like that. Spread them out, spread them out, spread them out. Just make sure no holes are open. Okay, some of these up here are a little thick. So just take your hand and do this. All right. Okay, this one has kind of a hole in it. So I'm going to pinch some off from here. and put it here. All right, I'll let you guys see it as soon as I uh, get it all smashed down. I guess we can kind of pinch them together, you know, if it doesn't create a hold in it. Okay, this looks good. Remember, you want them flat and with no seeping holes. Guess I can push this up. I can push this out and mix this together. And I told y'all it's going to be quick and easy. But just make sure you get them as flat as possible. Because you got to remember, they're going to puff up really big. Now, uh, put your oven to 350. I did mine at 345. So you know your oven and how it cooks. But the directions say 350. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I have to take one of these gloves off. Okay, you see this? You see how flat I've gotten it? So if they're a little puffy, just make sure you keep uh, spreading them down. All right. And next what we're going to do, we're going to take the cherries. See that? We're just going to spread it all over. See that? Okay. Make sure you get it to each corner. And then we're just going to let it bake up for about 20 minutes. Take the icing that's in the can. And then we're just going to drizzle it over the cherry cinnamon rolls. 
that's gonna be that's it that's all all right royal family can you guys see that okay all right into the oven they go for 20 to 25 minutes and if you want to check just lift up the bottom of the pyrex to see the color at the bottom all right see you guys in about 20 minutes okay this is how it looks 20 to 25 minutes all right see you in a bit Okay, Royal Family, here is the finished product and presentation of the old fashioned cinnamon rolls. These cinnamon rolls are amazing. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. I mean, they're that good. I, I couldn't even say Lord. I said loud. But anyway, you guys, these cinnamon rolls here are not your real, real fluffy type. They're kind of your, uh, uh, well, I was telling you about in the day when we used to eat them to where, you know, they would come in a pack and you'd cut them in a square. So these cinnamon rolls right here uh, will give you, uh, what am I trying to say? I want to say a tender bottom, uh, but they won't rise real high. And as you can see from here, but if you cut them into squares, they are so delicious. So I'm going to bring it up close so you can see it. And then I'm going to take a bite. You see that? Okay, let me take a bite. Now my hands probably get sticky. Mm, mm, mm. Look, you guys. This is some kind of delicious, especially with the cherry uh, filling on top. You guys really have to try this, either for a uh, Saturday morning uh, breakfast or a Sunday brunch. Again, these are the old fashioned cinnamon rolls and here's the bottom again. Hopefully you can see it. But with that being said, Happy Easter. You guys be safe and God bless you. And I hope to see you on Saturday. I'm going to try, but I can't promise. Check it out, you guys. Some kind of delicious. All right. God bless you all.